This is an ancient device. It's my first computer, a Commodore VIC-20. I purchased this in 1980, that's 35 years ago. In that time, of course, computers have evolved dramatically. Smartphones and tablet computers have computing power that was unimaginable when the VIC-20 was introduced. There is something I miss about these early computers. They came with a resident programming language that allowed you to create your own programs, or as we call them now, apps. The coding language used by the VIC-20 was called Commodore BASIC. Using mathematics and logical procedures, you could create your own programs. Programs that would solve a complex mathematical problem or take control of a robotic arm. Recently, a friend dropped by for a visit. He had something interesting to share. Fred is a retired nuclear engineer. During his career, he worked with some of the earliest computers and programming languages, developing systems to control and monitor the critical processes in nuclear reactors. Today, he is carrying an iPad. Swiping the screen, he revealed something unexpected. This is the blue screen of a Commodore BASIC coding window. This powerful tablet computer is running a functioning version of a decades-old language, Commodore BASIC. Fred has created a number of programs using his iPad and Commodore BASIC, some of them simple, like a program to calculate the hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle. We used this to square off a building site we were working on. And some of his programs are more sophisticated, like this one, that calculates gravitational acceleration. I'll demonstrate how to program in Commodore BASIC using a single line of code. Each line of code should be numbered. Typically, the first line is number 10. Next, we include the command print, followed by, in quotations, hello world. This is a complete single line of code. When executed, it will print hello world on the screen. To execute the code, we enter the command run. And hello world appears on the screen. Next, we'll create a program that uses seven lines of code to calculate the area of a circle. The first line, line 10, is CLS, clear the screen. The next line, line 20, states, calculate area of a circle. This is a title line explaining the purpose of the program. It is standard practice to number lines in increments of 10. This leaves some unused line numbers that may be needed as the program evolves. Line 30 uses the input command. This line of code will request input of the units, units of length like centimeters. When the units are entered, they are stored in the string variable u$. The dollar sign identifies this variable as a string variable, non-numeric. Note the use of quotations and the semicolon. Line 40 also uses the input command. This time we are requesting a number, the radius of the circle. The variable r will store this number. Line 50 does the area calculation pi r squared. The variable a will store this result. Line 60 displays the result. Note the use of semicolons and quotation marks to separate variables and text. Line 70 contains the command end. Running the program yields this result. The screen is cleared, and the first input, units, is requested. I enter cm, centimeters. The next line requests radius. I enter 6. This calculation is for a circle with a 6 centimeter radius. Pressing enter displays the result, 113.0976 centimeters squared, the area of a 6 centimeter radius circle. To keep this as simple as possible, I have ignored some programming protocols, but the code, as shown, does work. 
You can use this programming language to create any number of custom applications. Here's a project that combines knowledge from some great minds of the 17th century with some 20th century Commodore basic programming and a 21st century iPad. The formula we see here defines the motion of a pendulum. This collection of symbols comes from the combined intellect of 17th century philosophers Galileo Galilei and Christian Huygens. This formula displays the relationship between gravitational acceleration and the period and length of a pendulum. Fred created a program that inputs the length and period of a pendulum and then calculates gravitational acceleration. Look closely and you can see the centuries-old pendulum formula integrated into the code. We use this program and data from a pendulum to calculate local gravitational acceleration to be 9.82 meters per second squared. View our video The Pendulum Equation to learn more about this project. You will find the Commodore Basic app that we used in this video at the App Store. Search Hand Basic. The app comes with help files and sample code, and it is currently available at no cost. Visit our website at hyloroad.com basic for more programming resources.